This is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize the number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the U.S. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's going to get this done, it's going to take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by Night So with much fanfare, here is John Jones back in defense of his UFC Heavyweight Championship. Remarkable the manner in which he came back from a three-year layoff. Figures to present an even better version here tonight. Well, so many people questioned or wondered when John Jones would come to heavyweight. When he did, he looked better than he ever has inside the UFC's octagon. Winning the heavyweight championship and reasserting himself as the dominant force in mixed martial arts. John Jones once again steps into the octagon looking to build on his legacy. And we don't know how long for this game John Jones is, so enjoy him while he is here. We'll see how it goes tonight in this UFC Heavyweight Championship title defense. John Jones, one of the greatest of all time, ready to make a statement in front of this capacity crowd here tonight. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Vicious. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, John Bones. John Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. Let's do it. So here is John Jones with his reach approaching 85 inches, a difficult proposition for any opposition. Jones here immediately takes the center of the octagon. We'll see how he approaches the early moments in this one. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Takedown defense holds up. Fighters separate from the clinch. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Oh, high kick. All right, no surprise to see Johnny Bones Jones open with some of those long-range weapons and finding some early success in this one. That's exactly what he did. Oh, that hurt. That hurt him bad. Beautiful combination. Pace early on to this one. Oh, nice connection there by John Jones, and he is fighting with a definite killer instinct here tonight. And you have to have it because the target's always on your back when you're the UFC champion. Jones seems destined.
Jones, his forehead is bleeding now. Cut just opened up. Both guys appeared to land there. Nice display of technique by him there on the sidekick. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Very traditional technique that a lot of guys are using now in the UFC. Hands up, hands up. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Yeah. Left punch is clean, followed by a right. Hands up. Hands well, we told you about that hook. There it is. Oh, and so now he lands another combination, so it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming behind. A lot of times people throw singular strikes. Not this gentleman. This man is stringing four, five, six in a row. What a great job. Beautiful fight that lands to the head. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Takedown defense is there. Man, how good is his right hook counter? Oh, straight punch. It's there again. Just over two minutes, round one. Unable to connect there. I mean, he's cut the top side with these beautiful leg kicks. Inside leg kick is there by Joe. Looks like it did stun him a little bit. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. As he rocked him, bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Game of inches right there, yeah. boy. Wow. It was good night as that landed. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, nice takedown defense. A nice uppercut. Stay heavy on that cut. Let's go. Get it. Just misses with that one. So now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You gotta think he's gonna continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer. Because right now, he seems lost to it. Waning seconds here of this opening round. Jones is limping. That would suggest that the leg kick is having the desired effect. Five minutes in the books. All right, heading back to the corner, and Jones is bleeding from the forehead there a little bit. It doesn't appear to be too bad. The focus for the cut man, though, to make sure that he can stop the bleeding and not allow the blood to get into the eyes. All right, back to the stools between rounds, and I guess nothing a little Botox can't fix, but let us show you the replay and ultimately the strike that caused that significant damage to his forehead. I mean, his forehead, you you don't see it very often, but even when BJ Penn kick Diego Sanchez, the damage and the blood that flies off the head whenever you get a head kick to the head, it's, it's very difficult to deal with or get a cut on the forehead. He's got to change his approach now to really protect himself. Yeah, it doesn't appear to be compromising the vision as yet, but he will need to protect himself so it doesn't get worse here in the next round. Just out of range with that right hand. Jones is really starting to bleed out of that eye right now. It didn't look too bad earlier. Not looking good right now. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Oh, nice land there by Johnny Bones. Mike Wicklejohn told me before the fight, you haven't seen 30% of what John Jones does in the gym and starting to show you some of those new wrinkles here tonight.
effective with the jab. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significance. Double leg takedown lands. Nice shot there by the champ. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Jones is attempting a rear naked choke now. Looks like he's got that submission locked in. He's really oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and it showed in that defense. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. In the half guard. Three minutes. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Well, that was a high-level extended battle on the ground. Now, though, the athletes back to their feet, and no surprise, the crowd responds in cut. The crowd just loves whenever they get two high-level strikers going at it. It was very hard to get back up after getting taken down. But he's got there now. Let's see if he can take advantage of it. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground. He can fight in the stand-up. But he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good. Right. This is one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time. And it is showing in this performance. Jones is in half guard. Under two minutes to go in the round. Oh man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Time to work. You gotta get up. Time to work. Get up. Push. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. All right, side control now. Scramble and go. Scramble. Yes, and go. smart adjustment. Yep. Making all these shots count. Top pressure being applied here. Oh, Darce Choke locked and loaded. He's up. What submission defense on his play? That was a slick transition. Now he's going full mount. All right, he remains in pursuit of the submission, but the defense continues to hold up. I'm not sure he's going to be able to find a finish here. In MMA today, guys are so well-rounded, so gifted. It's hard to just lock up a submission, but he continues to try. And in those efforts, he has given himself a chance to win this fight. I've never been submitted. You never have? No, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> Always be closing. Busy in the clinch here. The punch is good. Jones is able to switch his stance here. We'll see how the defense responds. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Scramble, scramble, scramble. Seconds winding down in round two. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. Oh, he's got a strong grip on that arm. He I don't start, know. He starts uh, the elbow. Uh, oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So. Back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, we're going to stay with him and follow him back to the corner to the stool because that is a really severe cut that he is dealing with. We'll see if the cut man can stem the bleeding here. All right, we got a few clips for you, DC, of all the damage doled out in that round and his eye continuing to be the main target. I mean, he's getting hammered. He is getting hit in that spot over and over again. And because of that, his opponent has gained in confidence, and he is very limited in what he can do in his approach because safety has to be first. Straight punch is good. 
All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to log the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fight. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Oh, you ran Island, is that what we're doing here? Jab by Jones. Stuff to take down, no problem. All right, they separate. Now we'll see who can get off in space. Oh, nice job to land a knee to the body. Man, I wish I was on top. while really using his reach advantage there with that punch. Oh! Great take on defense right now by the champ. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. All right, well, if they like takedown here, that is usually his takedown attempt of choice, and it works out for him. Absolutely. He is comfortable. He is home when he's in on a single leg. Oh, nasty cut there, right on the bridge of the nose. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Nicely done. Scramble and go! Scramble and go! Good, solid strike on the ground. Now he's on top, exactly where he wanted to go. And another one. Another strike from the top. Lands for him. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Looks like someone took a red sharpie to his side. A lot of bruising courtesy of those body strikes. Well, big kicks, big punches. He's doing everything he told us he intended to do to slow this guy down. And you can see his opponent starting to really be labored in most of his movements. Nice crack there. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut. And man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flow. Yeah, as it should be. Like, he should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop this fight. This is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. All right, he's got him in the north-south position. He's in a dominant position. Look at him attacking the wrist. Oh, he's got the Kimura position locked in now. Somehow, some way, he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Oh, that cut is getting worse with every passing ground strike as he lands again. My crowd absolutely loving it as the fighters, however compromised, make their way back to the feet. They may be tired, but that tired and that fatigue is warranted. That was a high-level grappling exchange between two phenomenal grapplers. Great punch landed with so much power. Nice left hand. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Ten seconds now to go on the round. Jones' eye starting to swell now. 
All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot. Because every time you get hit on the nose, it's so Ready, jarring. Fight. And then the Ready. blood starts to go down Ready. into the mouth. He's got an uphill battle with that. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be harder. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. So the redness is omnipresent now. He has absorbed a whole lot of body strikes. Pretty good poker face, but I'm not sure how many more of these he wants to take. No, he doesn't. He needs to do something different. He cannot continue to get beat up like this. But it's on his opponent. It's on the guy that is landing these strikes to continue down the path until he makes you change something. Do this over and over because it seems like this is your easiest path to victory. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Vision could become an issue, and that left eye starting to close. Oh, good ground and pound here. And there it is, another strike. Gets through on the ground. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Jones is in half guard. Lands with the ground and pound. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. So the crowd absolutely loving it as these fighters work their way back to the feet. The fighters are back to their feet now, and they can take in the applause because they deserve it after that grappling exchange. Jones is taking aim at that cut right now, DC, and you got to admire the fighter IQ, right? Might as well keep landing strikes on a target that you have damaged repeatedly throughout the fight. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Well, an incredible fight thus far. Both fighters look like they could be finished at any time. If you wondered about the heart on either side, that question was answered tonight. Nothing. There are no more questions in regards to these two fighters. Both of these men have been hurt. Both of these men are swollen. They're bloody. They're both even know that. They're both willing and ready to continue this fight. Yeah, he's in half guard here. Close guard here. He's very comfortable here working off his back, DC. Oh, boy, look at that gas. Side control. Oh, nice. Oh, right into mount. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. Oh, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Just when you thought he might 
get submitted. Instead, he turns defense into offense and power bombs his opponent on the canvas. Jones is really bleeding something fierce now. That cut's not getting any better. We got the best cut men in the game. Gotta think they're gonna be busy in between rounds. Oh, Chris boxing here. The right punch followed immediately up by a left. High kick landed for him there. Final seconds here. Oh, and he gets the single leg takedown. Nice entry on that attempt. In a very close round, a takedown like that might be the difference. All right, well, if you like blood, and I do, this is the fight for you. Somehow we've made it to the stools, and both fighters are wearing it. Yeah, I mean, the corner's gonna have some work to do on that cut. He has been beat up in that round, but he has done his fair share of damage himself. This has been a very close fight. All right, so as the cut man gets to work, we'll re-rack some replays from the previous round. Well, he's got some work to do. The cut man's gonna have to work a miracle because this guy was on the receiving end of some real damaging shots. And if he doesn't do something different defensively, it's going to get worse. And if it gets worse, the fight may be stopped. Touch your open good. The ref wants to stop this fight, but you're not going to let him. I need you to go back out there. And... You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, fifth and final round. Oh, and there's that inside leg kick, and just slap yourself hard on the inside of your leg and tell me how that feels. I mean, it really hurt, because that's the soft right. part of your leg, so you land that over and over again. Guy will have a very tough time maneuvering out of a lot of the techniques you can go at. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, nice inside kick. Well, you can just see he is oozing with confidence and not overconfidence, but a big knockdown in round one, likely the source of that confidence. When everything is going great, you tend to feel like you can walk through a wall. Just need to walk through a wall. He needs to continue to find the right spot. He's hurt. He's hurt. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. All right, now a little separation between the two fighters. Oh, Back to his feet. Set a trap here so he can engage and really spring in there with a couple big strikes. Go after the cut. End this fight. End it. Beautiful shot. Oh, do it. oh my goodness. I mean, you gotta be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. All right, we set it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 43 seconds of round number 5. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, this chance. So how about this? We have a new UFC heavyweight champion of the world. I think that guy beats Daniel Cormier. I, I mean, this guy beats anybody. I'm telling you right now, he is the king of the world for a reason. The number one heavyweight in the world, a guy that possesses knockout power, confidence, and heart. It's going to be very difficult to take this belt away from this champ.